Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some beautiful resin coasters. But really quickly, before we get into today's video, I wanted to show you how I've been warming up my resin. So now that it's colder, um, I like to use the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, and that is a thicker resin. So, you know, you're going to have more bubbles um, now that everything's colder. So what I like to do is put my parts A and B into these condiment bottles, put it in this mini crock pot on high for 20 minutes before I pour, and this is going to reduce your bubbles dramatically. And that little liner you saw was actually a crock pot liner. It's meant for crock pots. I just um, put it in there in case, you know, I spill on the side of the bottle and don't realize it or anything. So I just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. I will link um, the mini crock pot down below in the description box. I just wanted to show you guys that. I promise it'll reduce your bubbles so, so much. So let's jump in and get started. These are glitter resin coasters that I had made. I just did these off camera. Um, it's honestly, whenever I have any leftover glitter, whenever I'm doing a pour, I pour it into a coaster mold and then I demold them. And we're gonna do a layer of artwork today. So what I did was I put down one ounce of clear resin and I heated that up with my heat gun you know, made sure that everything had good coverage on the top and the sides of the coaster. And now we're going to go in with some bronze metallic color cream from Dryer Days Art Studio. This is almost, it's basically an epoxy paste. I had one ounce of clear and I just mixed in a pea size amount to my resin. And I'm just going in and doing like a swirly line, some swirly patterns, and doing a border of the bronze metallic around the perimeter of the coaster. And then we're going to go in with the torch and just heat this up a little bit. And um, I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments. So I went in with my torch and heated up that bronze metallic. Now I'm going in with my heat gun and just blending those lines around. Now we're going to go in with some alcohol inks and just drop those right on top of that bronze metallic that we added. And I'm using the alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art Studio as well. I'm going to be using Vivid Pink, Vivid Purple, and Prussian Blue. And I'm just doing drops of color no real rhyme or reason. I just wanted to make sure that I had a good amount of each of the colors on each of the coasters here. And when you guys do your glitter bases, you can use whatever color glitter you want. Um, it's up to you, you know, any, I think any color glitter would be pretty to be honest. And now I'm just going to go in and take my little stir stick and scrape up that bronze metallic that had run off um, onto my table and I'm just gonna draw some little swirly lines on a few of these coasters I didn't want to waste any of the runoff so I thought well I'll just try this and um, it didn't do much to be honest the alcohol ink kind of just swallowed them up and the lines disappeared so um, you don't have to do this step but I just wanted to try and see what would happen now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that bronze metallic and go around each of the perimeters or each of the rims of the coasters to make sure that the perimeter of the coaster has a nice amount of bronze metallic on there and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours, and then I'll show you how they turned out. So here's how they turned out. This one here is my favorite. I just love the color and the sparkle under there from that glitter base layer that we used. Um, you do wanna do a top coat. I did do a top coat on these off camera. Um, you wanna make sure that you protect 
that metallic pigment. It is a floating pigment and over time with use, those can scratch off. So if you're making coasters that are going to be used a lot, you're going to want to make sure you do a top coat just to protect any floating metallic pigments that you have. Um, I always do top coats on everything just to make sure that you know it has a nice glossy finish and top coats will add another layer of depth as well. So off camera the next day I did a clear resin top coat on these and then I pulled the tape off the back and here's how they turned out. I think they're all gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you give this technique a try. It's so, so easy to do, and I feel like they just always turn out so beautiful too. And you could even do this technique on coasters that you've made that don't turn out. Um, I've made a few videos on my channel previously doing this, this same type of technique on resin coasters that I've made that I just wasn't happy with. Um, that's what I love about resin. You can always go in and do another layer and kind of revamp or redo pieces that you've made that you're just not happy with. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And definitely go check out a few more of my other videos. That really helps out my channel a lot if you watch a few of my videos back to back. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So that way if you want to get any of these products to try, it can give you a little bit of extra savings. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I hope you're all doing fantastic and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.